A wee while ago I created this script called Duoco. Basically it allowed you to toggle between a main value and a proxy value, which was pretty handy when it came to dealing with duplicators and that kind of thing. For some reason, I do not know why, I decided to revisit it and add a few features and I just thought I'd share it with you today. First up, let's just look at the original Duoco. A pretty basic little tool over here. So basically you clicked a attribute and you set a number in here on what you wanted that value to be reduced by and you hit create proxy. So what this does is it creates a folder and it creates a small array in there for you. And then you can just toggle back and forward between those two values. So this is just a very simple example. Um, and here's another one. So we can just do it with the sides here as well. So I can just click on create proxy and then I can just toggle between the high value and the low value. These are just some basic examples, but hopefully you can kind of see where I'm going with that. So now I'll show you the new Duoco. I have prettied up the interface a little bit. I feel like my eye icon needs a bit of love. Um, so it's got some new features here. So um, we can still deal with values like we could before. Uh, we just it basically operates the same way. Just selects your attribute, and then you can toggle it on and off over here. Uh, we also have images. We have the ability to freeze layers, so this can be handy if you've got a duplicator and you just want to freeze it. We've got the ability to also just turn off filters and shaders as well, which is pretty handy. So the way that works is, let's just throw a blur on here for whatever reason. And then we can just click on our blur layer and then we just hit the, the eye. And then we can just toggle it back and forth. And you can see in the timeline that that's just toggling as well. Um, so this is also kind of handy. Like sometimes there are, you might have some shaders which are pretty full on for some reason. Again, you just click on that and you can just toggle it. So what this freeze does, I'll just quickly show you that. If you have your scene, oh sorry, if you have your, so what it does is you can just basically click on your duplicator and then click freeze and it will freeze it for you. And this doesn't look like it's doing too much here at the moment, but you know, once once you um, add these, add a fair few more uh, duplicators, um, you can see here the frame rate is down to 19, 18, and you can just hit that, and it's just frozen it, and it's just taken it back up to 25. It's really just giving you that visual representation in the background. Um, yeah, anyway, that's just one possibility. And to turn that freeze off, you hit um, shift. You just hit shift and that value. And away you go. And it's back to normal. And that's the same with these as well. You just hit shift and it pops back up. Um, so with regards to images, I'd wanted to play with image proxies for quite a while. So to create image proxies, what we have to do is create all the image proxies first. So hold shift again and click on the little image icon. And it says up here, drag an asset to the window and select it. And again, we can just change this down to 25 or whatever you want. And once you've got your footage shape selected, you just hit create proxies. And it's just going to go through and generate all those proxies for you so that now we can say grab a few of these so now i'm just going to edit them because if i change the proxy while they are footed shapes they're just going to shrink right down uh, i'm just going to show you a few basic things of how it works with regards to performance and that kind of thing it's still a bit of a work in progress so um yeah just just bear with me <laughs> on some of this so i just selected all of my shaders there and i just hit image proxy and that has done it for us 
So now I can, so we can just move all these around. And if you just hit proxy here, they have turned to proxy images. So this image has got a bit of detail, so you can just see the before and after. So I've just put them into a duplicator. So these are, you can see the size of these images here. Um, and so the proxies are 25% of that size. Okay, so at the moment, the frame rate is hovering about seven, seven, eight. So if I just turn on Tuoco, it's back up to 25. And I can just jump into my duplicator again, and I reckon I can smack that up to 100, and it's still going to be pretty good. Cool. So if I just toggle that again, <laughs> frame rate's down to about four. Um, but yeah, this is still a bit of a work in progress. I'd really like to give it a bit of a, a stress test and see how it all kind of works out. For the most part, like the, the kind of work I do is relatively basic and this kind of ticks all my boxes. Um, so I'm, I'm personally okay with it, but I understand that everyone's got different ways of working and working on projects um, a lot bigger than what I do. So yeah, that's, that's basically what I've got so far. Um, I'm pretty happy with how it's all kind of come together. You can easily, um, you can easily just toggle those values on and off you can you can see the kind of performance here as well um, so there that's that I'll I'm not too sure how I'm going to go with uh, releasing these things in Gumroad but uh, I'll get around to it so if you feel like this might benefit you in some way and you wanted to help me test it out and do some stress testing um, that would be great it's very basic scripts I um, I am somewhat concerned <laughs> that it could uh, buckle under a little bit of weight. Um, but yeah, if you want to give it a whirl, please just get in touch and um, I'll, I'd like to share it around with a few people first before I release it. Cool. Thanks a lot. Cheers.